Hi guys and welcome back to another video and today is a very exciting day because I'm off to see some of the cars that have already made it to the start line of this year's Pink Wing Supercar Rally which takes place here in Croatia. The cool thing about today is that I do not know what cars are coming to this year's rally to, so it will be a surprise to see the cars on the grid. I, what I know so far is that there is a Lamborghini Urus and a Ferrari 488 with a very cool spec on it so I'm looking forward to seeing those but for others I don't know what's coming. So basically yes that's the plan for today's video I'm off into the town central to see the cars on the grid it's it will be an exciting day out because I've never actually been close to the Lamborghini Euros and I'm excited to see the other cars on the grid as I've already said so it's finally time to get onto the way to the town central as now I have arrived at the meeting point or the starting grid if you will of the 2019 pink wing rally and here we have the Lamborghini Euros in a very nice spec nothing really exotic of a spec but still very nice we have the massive carbon ceramic brakes I think these are these are amongst the largest ever fitted to a production car uh, orange calipers inside we have the orange stitching yes so this is the first time I've got up close and personal if you wish with the Lamborghini Urus and I think that this car looks good, looks like a Lambo, it is it is a special car, but still I kind of don't get the idea of a ma manufacturer like Lamborghini making an SUV, now Aston Martin and Ferrari will maybe make one, so obviously this type of car is to make company money so that they can develop the exotics like the Aventador, the Huracan and of course the limited edition cars as the Centenario and other special cars so this is basically a money generator for Lamborghini it is doing extremely well, it is selling well so I, I see the point looking at the interior from the outside I can still tell that this inside is indeed a special car and I can see the Lamborghini hexagonal designs carried over the car you can see stitched in the seats the air and shape so it really does feel like a Lamborghini but still it is an SUV which is cool of course massive tires absolutely massive I think these are 22 inches on the back of course Pirelli tires and the back of the car so when the Euros came out I was really skeptical about the back because I didn't first like it in the pictures but now I really do think that it makes sense, it looks aggressive and some people have criticized that on the road people are able to see these bolts from the exhaust and yes, so some of the people say that this is not something that should be visible on a Lamborghini I don't know, I really don't know what to think about it but yes, so this is the rear end of the car looks much better in person than it does in pictures I have to say that and regarding the front end I mean it's looking absolutely phenomenal we have the Epsilon shaped headlights and when this came out the first thing I thought was wow what a stunning front end of a car this is in the start line we have the Bentley Continental GT and I have to say this is one this is my favorite luxury car on the market today I will, I will always choose this over the Rolls Royce simply because of the fact that I think the Bentley is a much sportier car but still remains an extreme luxury inside so take a look at the interior I mean this is just stunning in my opinion the best interior on a luxury car on the market today we have the flipping display that can be a pile of wood analog dials or even a full navigation screen so that is insanely cool this is also a full blacked out spec we have the enormous steel brakes these are in fact I think the largest steel brakes fitted to a production car maybe I'm wrong but I think I have heard this before so it is a W12 inside absolute monster of an engine this car produces an immaculate amount of torque which means it pulls effortlessly it goes like nothing so yeah all blacked out very nice with the contrasting cream leather interior
So, just as I thought I won't be seeing any more cars in a while, this BMW M4 popped, popped in here to the start line, parked here, and before it was parked, the owner gave it a few revs, which was very, very cool to hear. Also joining us here at the start line, the 911 Carrera S 991.2. Very nice car, sounds actually very good in person. So, the reason why the 911 sounded so good is because, because it has the optional Akrapovic exhaust. We have the 488 GTB and the F430 Spider. This 488 is an extremely nice specification. It has the red leather seats in the interior, bronze wheels, which is very, very cool. I am a big nerd for bronze wheels and absolutely love Ferraris with bronze wheels or gold wheels, however you want to call them. So, this is definitely one of the best spec 488s I have ever seen. And here we have a rather unique. F430 Spider, which has yellow absolutely everywhere, and yeah, this car has aged very, very well. Still looks absolutely stunning in person, as you would expect from a Ferrari. So let's hope we will hear the 488. GT2 RS that has joined the party at the pavilion today. So this car is the Weissach package, meaning it has the roll cage in the back, the stitching on the headrests and these wheels, which are I think magnesium very light wheels, carbon fiber everywhere, all across the ring with the Porsche lettering. I mean, just, just look at this thing and take it all in. the Mercedes-Benz G63 AMG this is the new model and as you can tell this is a quite unique spec all black with red details so this is the edition one which is why it is spec like this very cool to see this my first edition one spotted I, and I have to say this is an extremely cool car to look at and also the interior is stunning luxury and of course the side exiting exhausts of the V8 by turbo AMG motor. So I hope to get the start of now of the 458. I've just left the pink wing start grid of the 2019 rally and here in front of 
the Hilton Hotel in Zagreb. I found two incredibly nice Lamborghini Huracans, one of which is the Performante Spider. So actually, because I'm standing right next to the Huracan Performante Spider and the non-Performante, the regular Huracan, let's just make a quick comparison. So, the normal Huracan does not have a ring, of course, while the Performante has a ring, which is Lamborghini's first, uh, first ever generation of Aerodynamica Lamborghini Attiva, which means active Lamborghini aerodynamics. Also, the Performante has the um, unique, unique exhaust pipes, the two pipes that exit higher than the regular Huracan, which has the quad tail pipes. Bo both cars have V10 engines, although this car is more powerful. I mean, uh, today is the most exciting car spotting day in Zagreb in a while. To see these cars on top of the ones I've already shared with you from the Pink Wing Rally is truly mind-boggling. One cool fact about the Hurricane Performante is that when you approach the back of this car, it is filled with grills so that the air can flow and that the cooling can properly work. But that also means that you can see a part of the transmission of the car, which is, of course, in the back of the car, mounted on the glorious V10. So, to use this moment when I'm standing next to the Huracan Performante and the normal Huracan, I'm going to tell you why the Huracan Performante has the top-mounted exhausts. So, the first thing is that on the normal Huracan, the exhausts are down with the diffuser, meaning that they are interrupting the design of the diffuser. With the exhaust pipes moved back, moved up, the designers had the chance to provide the car with a better, more aero-efficient diffuser. Also, when the exhaust pipes are higher, that means that the pipes connecting the exhaust to the engine are shorter and also lighter. And that is what Huracan Performante is all about, the lightweight. So when you have the exhaust mounted lower, the pipes connecting the exhaust to the engine need to be much longer, meaning there is more weight to the car. So I just thought to tell you guys a short story about how the Lamborghini designers use a trick to save weight. And also the atmosphere at the start line of the Pink Wing Rally was absolutely insane. Everyone was so pumped about the car, so friendly. It was a great, great experience. So guys, now it's time to end today's video. As I said, incredible day out of spotting. I'm very happy that I have managed to come out today and to film and share all of this with you. As always, thank you very much for watching and I'm looking forward to seeing you in my next video.